Would inner healing help your sex life? You know, if you've recognized that you have a problem and you've tried some new things, but you're not seeing a lasting change, then maybe it's time to consider inner healing. Hi, I'm Mary Whitman Ortiz of Limitless Intimacy, bringing you the best tips and tools to create great intimacy in your marriage. On this channel, we talk about communication strategies and intimacy made simple steps all from a Christian point of view. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. All right, I also want you to stay until the end because I'm going to give you the single most powerful step that you can take to bring healing to your life right now. Now, back to today's question, would inner healing help your sex life. I have a five-step process that I walk my clients through in regards to inner healing. And I'm just going to give you that right now. And I'll give you a little heads up. All five of these begin with the letter R. So if you're taking notes, you can start with this now and um, that will give you a way to remember it starts with the letter R. And the first step is to recognize. I want you to recognize things are not how you want them to be. And um, you definitely had some problems, some hurts, some blocks in regards to your sex life. Now that may seem trivial, but my goodness, that first step is a big one. You like, oop, Put the brakes on. We have to do something now. Step two, here's another R. It's the word release. I guide my clients to release the lies they have believed about themselves and also the lies they have believed about sex. Maybe you would never have called them lies before, but they are interfering with you having healthy experiences with your spouse, with you stepping fully into all the goodness that God has for you. Step three, I want you to realign. Realign your beliefs with what God says about you, what his truth is. I mean, that's where the life is, the love is, the power is. And then you can get clear on what your goal is. And hey, if you've got that, then the steps are right there, ready to go. Now, um, I hope this has given you some helpful information. And if it is, will you give me a thumbs up? Also, I have a question for you to answer in the comments. Did you and your spouse talk about your expectations for sex before you got married? Hmm. All right, we have step four and we have another R word here. So step four is restore Restore your heart. Restore your relationship. You know, it's what you're doing to take care of you in God's plan and in his grace. And then what you're doing to restore the relationship at large. And so, yeah, that will include learning some new tools. You have to put them into practice. It's a little bit of a, the grind work there. And even though that is... Um, the working out of it, you know, it all starts in your beliefs and in your thoughts first. And then you'll also know what is needed so you have more connection because the success of your relationship is going to depend on the depth of your communication. So much more we could unpack there. But I'm going to move on. Step number five, final step, another R word, reimagine. Reimagine. What does your marriage look like? What does your sex and intimacy life look like on the other side of this healing, on the other side of you learning some tools? Can you picture the two of you together when you're thriving, you're enjoying one another's company, you know, you see yourselves encouraging and serving one another and loving one another. We need to get that image strong as the goal. Hey, it'll be very specific and unique to you, but that all calls you forward, all calls you to your future. 
Do you want to know more about how husbands and wives show up in sex and intimacy, what their unique wants are? Well, hey, I have something to share with you. I just hosted Pillow Talk, a free webinar, what husbands and wives uniquely want in sex and intimacy and how to make it happen easier and faster. So if you're interested, I can send the replay to you and you won't miss out on that. Okay, you waited for the question and here it is. The single most powerful step you can take for healing in your sex life Answer this question, what is the lie that you have believed about your value and your identity? What is the lie that the enemy uses again and again and again? Because when you can put your finger on that, it is absolutely going to empower you to get free, to get healed and whole, and to bring that whoo, new healed and whole person into your marriage. Well, thank you so much for um, tuning in today, joining me. And remember that God's design for sexual wholeness in marriage is fulfilling and thrilling intimacy.